Now I say, here's a dilemma. What's more real? The word of God? Is that reality? Is that really true? Or the feelings you have? Satan does not work through any different laws than I do or you do. He knows more about them. He has more control and more understanding and more power. But it's the same lawful relationship. All of this is a lawful relationship. But God must interpose. And to those who do not maintain a direct contact with God, to that extent that they are vulnerable. Now, God will keep Satan in check until people have a chance to exercise these options. But there's coming a day that everyone must make a choice. And there will come a time when the world is going to be divided into the sheep and goats. And when they have a clear perception of the options and choose deliberately to refuse the love of God in their lives, they are then going to be completely sucked into the manifestations of the satanic. They will have lost their liberty, and they will only be able to respond to the electrical stimulation that Satan imposes upon them, and they will be, at that point, demon-possessed. And it is only through the grace and the power of God that any of us even have the capacity to think free thoughts today. Freedom is not through following your own guts. Freedom is to relate so close to Jesus Christ that you have a capacity to transcend simply feelings and to have a perception of reality that is not based upon how you happen to function metabolically on any given day. But I think that if we were to realize the contending forces that are working upon our central nervous system, I think it would give us a tremendous fright and we would not be nearly so casual in our efforts to rely upon the Spirit of God.